All right, guys, welcome back. We are going to continue where we last left off, and that was in Midgard. We are with Freya, and we are trying to contact the Norns, and it has been a journey in doing so. Uh, we still haven't done it, so sit back, enjoy, and uh, yeah, thanks again for the support as always. Here we go. All right. Ah, oh, man, the snow. Love it. What is that? And that's a horse. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. Oh, we're riding on the hind. Okay. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the loss by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. That was sick. A Kelpie. Here. It's a horse that walks on water, it transforms, and it can go beneath it can go beneath the surface. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubt it would make it. What is this? Man, this looks Man, I, I still get blown away with how this game looks and its environments. This looks like a bunch of hair. And now we're going to go through it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him, him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must be a way, way to, to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. 
merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt Omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. <laughs> Man, I, that was... I did not like that. That did not sound good. I don't want Kratos to die. But it, it was foretold earlier as Angerboda drew it on the uh, stones. Alright, I guess we Let gotta take this, this back up. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galifor. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <gasps> yeah, that would be an interesting fight because he can predict what we would be doing. Since he already knows. That would be an insane fight for sure. Alright. For what I want to do next is probably explore Midgard more. First we gotta get out of here though. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I for one am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall. And no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. But it's hardly my point. How do I get in there? Oh, that was easy. There's a hole in the wall. <laughs> I see something. 
Another hole in the wall? Ah. Is this the way we're supposed to go? Yes. First I want to grab this. Trying to figure out where exactly we've been. That's the wrong way up if you want to get out of here. I know, but I don't remember what's up here. I gotta explore. Wait, we have been here. Okay, we can't. The passage is gone. No one's covering the tracks already. Hmm. To the sled then. Okay. Yeah, so this was the way we came up before. Lost my bearings for a second. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Your accusation was cruel. None of us believe- The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It would be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my Your nature. Well played, Norns. <laughs> All right. So. Well, that is a lot of experience. Nothing new for that. Nothing new for that either. We do have stuff for her, though. I'm just going down the list here with her. Armor-wise. Skills that we can upgrade. That is fully done. That is also fully done. Blades of Chaos. Let's go ahead and upgrade this since we can. I'm not going to upgrade this one though. Because I don't really find it that interesting. Spartan Rage. Oh, I wasted it though. Should have used the points on that. That's fully done already. Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. All right, so we have to Listen, head on back to Shindri. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? That's what I was on to do. I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and clear out these raiders' fortresses. Brother, about the oracles of your lands, would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first, but in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. Brother! Look. That must be too. I just got a new breastplate. Moderate luck chance on any hit to increase the strength, runic, and luck of one of Kratos' weapons. What I currently have 
is poison. Let's do it. Why not? Helmet from his statue. Win mines, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days. We need to go in there at some point. But first, we're gonna go and take out these uh, nests. Not nests, fortresses. And there's a raven down Brother, here. Brother, what you said before about the oracles of your land being fooled by their own prophecies. I get the sense that was coming from personal experience, eh? Yes, but enough of that for now. See this raven here. See if I can get it. I aim right there. That was extremely close. Almost the first try. Got it. Suckling back to the topic of prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them. I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, word gets around about that sort of thing. All right, so there is one here. Kratos, a raider encampment. Shall we take care of them, brother? Yes. And there is a treasure thing in here as well. Super fast. Tartarus Rage. What is this one? And leaves a hazard. <gasps> All right, now we got to get this. All right. in there. However, hmm. Oh, right here. Ooh. 
Ooh, max life. Nice. Cool. So our health has increased. All right. We got a, two more raid encampments to do. Raider. Oh, they explode. Now maybe the wolves will cease their whining. That was pretty quick. Also, there was only three of them. Cyclone of Chaos. It's a light runic attack. Oh, this is a very good one. This causes so much stun. We don't equip it. This is so much better than Helios Flare. Oh, so is this one. Rampage of Furries. This one just causes burn. All right, we got one more. Ooh, a couple of big guys. Ow, I thought I got that. Get away. Incoming fire. Ah, uh, that is just so much damage with the Bifrost. I'm about to die though, I'm standing in this fire. I see him. Kratos, their chieftain. Oluf Natsen. Not today. Yeah. The chieftain. Was he the one who captured the wolves before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they should draw some comfort from his death. It's an amulet. Dodge rolling will hasten the expiration of burn poison and frost status effects. So basically it makes it so that when you roll, everything goes away faster. If you are on fire or frozen. A luminous alloy. You need those. Viking's gift. It's a treasure map. Find the location from the map. Uh, okay, that... I don't know if I'll be able to find that. To return to the wolves. They're still scared. Not of the raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. 
You are safe. Good. Good boys. Parents. Good girls. <laughs> We updated their lore. We also got some more experience. Let's see if I can upgrade weapons, blades of chaos. I uh, can't upgrade that yet. Uh, goals, favors. Yeah, this is what we're tracking now. Guiding light. That's part of Tia's statue. Gauntlets of Guiding Light. Melee attacks have a chance to critically strike. What do I have currently? I have this. I just need to upgrade these. This is where we were with Atreus very early. Oh boy. That's frost in my neck stump. Gotta get rid of the frost on this guy. He just ate all of this for not doing any damage. Okay. This is pretty intense. There we go. Where's the other one? There he is. Okay. Oh, I thought I hit that. Oh. oh my gosh, this guy does so much damage. There we go. Okay. There's some debris over there. I'm guessing from Tyr's poor statue. And that is the Waste Guard. Taking damage, blocking, and parrying all have a moderate luck chance to cause a soul explosion, dealing damage and restoring some cooldown of the relic. Melee attacks have a luck chance to critically strike, creating a damaging explosion. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the Berserker gear. Iron peace, not a golden war. Well, I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. I always admired the love Tyr inspired. Where I come from, gods of war are not revered in such a way. Not all gods of war are the same, brother. No, they are not. All right. So I believe that is everything that we could do in this area in terms of favors. Yeah, I'm 
Pretty sure that's everything. You said you and Thor caused that? Yes. The result of our weapons colliding. Ouch. Yes. Oh, here we go. Nothing happened. Okay. <laughs> Me getting scared for no reason. This is the quick way down. Something else I recall about that Greek play I mentioned that you won't take offense at a critique. As a work of performance, it consisted almost entirely of watching people give speeches and receive terrible news. It might have been nice to see more events dramatized instead of described. It is Greek tradition for a story to unfold in a single time and place uninterrupted. It is more clear. If you say so. 